Today we are going to talk about general partnership in Poland. In Polish it sounds as spółka jawna. This form of partnership must have at least two general partners. Business name of the partnership should contain the surname or business name of at least one of the partners, an additional designation of the form – spółka jawna. It has no legal personality, but it does have legal capacity, which means it may accrue rights and obligations on its own behalf, and has a juridical capacity, which means it may be a party of a court proceedings. And third, it has procedural capacity, which means it may appear before a court independently to defend its interests. There is no minimum share capital requirement. Natural persons and companies means legal persons and organizational units not being legal entities to which the applicable laws have granted legal capacity, can become partners of general partnership. A general partnership may be established by and between different types of entities, for instance, a natural person and a legal person or any other type of a company. Partnership formation enters into effect upon entry into national court register. Distribution of profits among partners may be set forth in the Articles of Association, but in the absence of relevant contractual provisions, each partner has an equal share regardless of the type and value of their contribution. A partner cannot be fully excluded from participating in the partnership profits. The partnership's loss, which leads to decreasing the current carrying amount of contributions, profit it first allocated towards supplementing a partner's depleted share. The Articles of Association may exempt a partner from participating in losses. Each partner may represent the partnership individually unless the Articles of Association set forth different rules for representing the partnership. A partner's liability for the partnership's obligations is unlimited, which means up to the full value of the partner's assets. It is joint and several. A creditor may request that an entire claim be satisfied from one, several, or all of the partners. Any person acceding to the partnership is liable for the obligations of the partnership incurred before the date of accession. If there is a new partner entering a partnership, then the new partner may enter into all of the rights and obligations of a current partner. Accession to the partnership by a new partner is possible solely upon amending the Articles of Association unless the Articles of Association provide otherwise. If the Articles of Association eliminate the requirement to obtain unanimous approval from all partners upon, upon approval of the majority of the partners' votes stated in the Articles of Association. This form of company is restricted for certain groups of foreigners. So before choosing the specific type, please check the video about forms unrestricted to foreigners. Those are very general but still main points about the general partnership.